there and welcome to another video. Today I got this magazine here, Be Local, and I wanted to look through it together with you. As you know, I recently moved into a new area and not very familiar with it just yet. So it's a good for, uh, option for me to look through some businesses and articles, events in the area. So let's see. Plato's Closet. Looks like it's uh, used uh, like a thrift shop. We buy gently used teen and young adult casual wear all day. Every day. Uh, okay. So, they actually pay you to donate, I guess. That is not a donation, but I guess then they resell. Interesting. Haven't been there yet. And we got some HVAC services for wood taker, heat and air conditioning. And then grand home furnishings. Furniture is so incredibly expensive, and I thought initially that I would buy furniture from <clears throat> just Facebook Marketplace or something like that, and, uh, and I did find a couple of items, but like the big things like a couch, I probably need to buy new because I haven't been able to find something. Plus, the delivery component is challenging as well. Okay, roofing place. No dense roofing. Important numbers. Looks like uh, those yellow pages. Yeah. And then we got Welcome Home. I don't know who these people are, but so pub they're publishers, okay. Alright, this one is Compounded Semaglutide, now available. Uh, weight loss medications. Uh, this is Life Well Pharmacy. Okay. Then we have Holiday Lanes. Kids Bowl Free is also bowling alley. You know, I don't like bowling at all. I don't know if you know that, but there are two things that I don't like pool and bowling. I found, find them incredibly boring, and mm, candidly, I'm pretty bad at them. Okay. Letter from J Johnson City Chamber. Bob Cantler is the president. Fun fact, from 1784 to through 1788, Washington County was part of the state of Franklin, an early attempt to create a 14th state prior to Kentucky and Vermont's admissions into the Union. And then the pages of history. Okay. Let's see, there's definitely some history in this area. Uh, some of it is bit disturbing, but uh, some of it is quite cool, like this building, for example, in Jonesboro. It's uh, like super historic. Um, the city, the town itself, Jonesboro, was established in 1779 
and it is the oldest town in Tennessee. I mean, look, it's no Europe, but... And then, uh, yeah, the Main Street. If you ever visit uh, Jonesboro, the Main Street is quite an attraction. They have uh, lots of uh, unique shops, antique shops, um, unique play, just uh, restaurants and things like that. Mostly shops, though, somehow, not as many restaurants. This is Courthouse, Washington County. And apparently Washington County is Tennessee's oldest county, established in 1777, when the state was still part of North Carolina. And there's some other historical places. Storytelling comes to Jonesboro. And one thing you probably don't know, or maybe you do, is that Jonesboro is the has the International Storytelling Center, and they have this annual festival with storytellers coming. And it was it's quite pricey. I think over like a hundred and forty dollars. Uh, for for a day, but um, an experience, I guess. I've never been exposed to storytelling at all, so it's kind of interesting for me to even find out about it. A couple of historical places, Rocky Mount State Historic Site and Piney Flats, Dual River Covered Bridge in Elizabethton, Okay, Tipton Haynes State Historic Site in Johnson City. Mm -hmm. Great Fossil Site. George L. Carter Railroad Museum in Johnson City. Sycamore Shoals State Historic Area in Elizabethan. Hmm. All right, then we have uh, some uh, morning breakfast uh, places, Open Doors Coffee House, uh, Stillwater Coffee House, Pike House Coffee Roasters, and then continues here, Dos Gatos, and Steel Rails. And then for breakfast brunch, they have Penny Man's Dinner. Diner. No, dinner. No, it's dinner. Local dive providing delicious, affordable, favorite places for many in the area. Maple Grove restaurants. Breakfast served all day. Okay. We got Old Town Pancake House. First Watch Daytime Cafe, Wheelers Bagels, Bagels, not Bagelers, and more ads if you were missing that. Direct Healthcare. So I guess it's a healthcare plan. Hmm. Oh, not health insurance. It's health care. And then Dog Spa, Wagon Suds. Actually, I think this place is closing down this month. And then a couple of uh, local places, uh, Asian stuff. Uh, not, not as many as I would expect. Only two Asian restaurants featured here, barbecue. Southern Craft, something is, uh, somebody mentioned to me, barbecues, apparently is, is pretty good. Pizza, well, there are three pizzeria, looks like. There's one, is New York style pizza, let's be real here, come on. Nobody tops New York. Well, Italy does, but. Poblanos, it's a Mexican place. 
And then International Cuisine, Red Mares. I've been there. It was okay. Not that great. So here, but here's the uh, best Indian restaurant in the Johnson City area. Freiburg's German restaurant. I didn't like it at all. It was not a good place. So, yeah. Don't go there. So. Then, uh, eclectic menus. Gourmet and company. Okay. The label. Oh, it's a sports bar. Eclectic international menu. Cooties Browns. Cootie Browns. And gourmet fire roasted pizzas, tam authentic tamales, steak salads, and sandwiches. Very interesting. White duck tacos. Oh, I love this place. It's a chain. Right, there's one in Asheville, two in Asheville as well. But very good. I recommend that. Juniper is apparently an upscale casual dining spa. I don't know what upscale casual dining means. Those two words don't seem to coincide. But it'll be interesting to see. Italian Bella Vita Portobello's. And seafood, they have Harbor House, Baoi Vinipa, I don't know how to, Bayo Boys. Um, yeah. And then dessert places Blackbird Bakery. Haven't been to actually any bakeries here. And then Cake Butts Bakery. Okay, this one was supposed to be recognized one of the best 10 bakeries in Tennessee, featured on Food Network. They uh, specialized in cakes, mostly. I am dying for a just very good um, almond croissant. There's one place in Denver when I was um, living there that I absolutely loved was so buttery, so crusty, oh, just delicious. I can't find anything that's even closely reminding me of that. All right, let's look more. Mona Lisa's gelato, buttermilk pies. The scoop is old fashioned ice cream parlor. Okay, and then beer, beer Johnson City Brewing Company and Yeho Brewing. I went to Yeho, and uh, yeah, it was very nice. The outdoor area is very uh, attractive, and uh, but I haven't been to this one. Then wine, they have Otago Lake Winery, Villa Nova Vineyards. And another winery. I guess this is the same name, just the versus without the. Okay. And then distillery, East Tennessee distillery, and Tennessee Hills distillery. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we've got ceramic tile ad. Primary care physician. Hamilton Meats, Robins on uh, Rome, and this is where you get your framing needs met. Mm. Retail stores have a couple of things women's clothing boutique, Mahoney's Outfitters, Mox, Noel Seasonal Decor and Gift. Galore. Okay, there's a. Oh, there's. I've seen this building, Tennessee Quilts. It's quite interesting. Kind of authentic um, vibe to this Appalachian region. Monkeys, clothing boutique, Troyers, Amish Country, Home Goods Store. 
Mm, it would be interesting to visit that one. Storybook looks for children. And then the outdoors is a ton of parks. Rhone Mountain State Park. And then we got uh, Winged Deer Park. Yeah, the nature here is actually quite incredible. I went to this Tweetsie Trail. It's a, a paved trail. Well, not all paved, but uh, I think it's like around uh, 15 miles. Obviously, I haven't uh, walked all of it yet, but it's a very pleasant place to be. You can do go rafting and biking. There are a couple of... Um, companies here, Husky Mountains Adventures, and they uh, provide guidance in hiking, camping, kayaking, biking, then Raft Adventure Resort, Tannery Knobs, Mountain Bike Park, that's where the, that uh, Tweetsie Trail is located, and then you've got Homegrown, Farmer's markets, actually, I really like the farmer's market here. Jonesboro Farmer's Market is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's producer-only market. And I think they their mission is to only um, bring local, um, local fruits and vegetables um, from a hundred um, miles range, which is quite impressive. Then you got Boone Street Market. I think this is um, year round. Mm. It's an enclosed area. It's kind of like a little shop. Really like it. So it's a definitely an interesting place. And this one here, it's in Johnson City. That's, yeah, Johnson City Farmer's Market. It was okay. I kind of like the vibe of the Jonesboro Farmer's Market. Lake Living. There are lots of lakes here. Watuga Lake. Holston Lake. Boone Lake. And if you need cabinets, you can be able to buy them as well. Eye care experts. Uh, places of worship. Definitely a uh, Bible belt. Um, so lots of churches. All things kids. Zoo. Jumping place. Johnson City Public Library. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive building, actually. Mm -hmm. Alright, the local arts. Uh, there's a Nice Wonga performing at the center. And uh, it's UC Martin Center for the Arts. They have some theater. I've gone to one play in Jonesboro. It's okay, I guess. It's called Into the Woods. I think they have a couple of art galleries. Pets. Dog parks. And uh, pet adoptions have two animal shelters. And a bunch of daycare, groomers, dog washing supplies, and sponsors. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, kind of a, this is a, a brief, concise, magazine but gives you a good overview of what's available here and remember this is a smaller area so definitely mm, lacks the amenities in fact it's funny 
I wanted to pay my water bill and the only way I mean they offer online payment with surcharge uh, regardless of what pay method payment you're using you can pay by check and they still charge you extra so really the only way not to get charged extra is to go to the city hall and pay it in person which is amazing to me that given the status of technology nowadays that's uh, anyway but I hope you enjoyed this and you're doing well enjoy the rest of the day and the week take care of yourself and uh, as always be well goodbye